Hey everyone, so today on the Food Photography blog we're going to be talking about shutter speeds. So this is my 5D Mark II and I have it set completely on manual camera shooting mode. And so you can see right here this number that says 125. That's the shutter speed. Now this number is actually a representation of a fraction. Some cameras will show it as a fraction and others will just show you this portion of it. So it gets a little confusing. So this is 1 1 25th of a second. It's not 125 seconds or something like that. This is representing the, the fraction. So I also want to point out for me on this camera to change shutter speeds, I have to turn this dial right here. You can hear it clicking. Each click is a third of a stop. So if you go three clicks faster, I'm now at one two fiftieth of a second. That's an entire stop of light. So with this camera setting, three clicks is one full stop. One click is a third of a stop. Now some cameras can be programmed where you can go quarter stop increment. So you have to go four clicks in order to change your camera an entire shutter speed. So if you can't really tell, you can look at your manual and see what the default is, but usually the default is one click is a third of a stop. Now this camera, you know, has a high range. I can go all the way up to one eight thousandth of a second, which is crazy fast. I don't think I have ever shot at that speed in like my 22 years of shooting professionally, honestly. Um, now going down the other way, let's get back to our one one twenty fifth. The reason why we're starting at this number right here. This is a very crucial number. I never suggest hand holding slower than this shutter speed. So if you don't have a tripod, you kind of have to keep your shutter locked here or you could get motion blur. Now I know there's a lot of blogs out there that you can hand hold at a 60th, but honestly we've all been forced to do it. We've all been forced to shoot slower than 1 1 25th. You have to take a lot of shots then practically hold your breath and pray you just don't move the camera because if you move it at all at a 60th of a second your image will be blurred. It just happens all the time. You're much safer at 1 1 25th of a second. Now again if you're on a tripod then you can go however slow you want. This enables you to have a lot of control for your exposure so you can manually set your f-stop, manually set your ISO and then make the shutter speed be wherever it needs to be if you're on a tripod. So now you notice the single numbers have gone away and now we have zero, hatch mark three. This means 0.3 seconds, 0.4 seconds, 0.5 seconds, half a second, and 0.6, I, you know, whatever that fraction is going to be, 0.8, and now one second. And so on the other end of the scale, this camera, can do a 30 second exposure, which I have done sometimes actually. Late at night, natural light, after the sun has set, you'd be surprised. Just leave your exposure open for as long as you need. You can make it look as bright as day in here. So there you have it. Let's go back up to our 1 125th because I don't want you to handhold any slower than that.